So what we need to understand is what is a half-life? A half-life is the time it takes for something to go from 100% down to 50%, to lose half of the amount of whatever it is, whether that's a drug in your body or radiation at a nuclear blast site. How long is it gonna take for half of it to disappear? So if you're to take this prednisone 20 milligram tablet at 8 a.m., how long is it going to take for it to drop down to 10 milligrams effectively in your body? Well, the half-life of prednisone is somewhere between two to three hours, depending on your DNA and your situation. So if you take this much at 8 a.m., it will drop down to 10 milligrams in your body by somewhere between 10 and 11 a.m. So let's just round up to 11. And then this 10 milligrams will drop down to five milligrams effectively three hours later at 2 p.m. And then three hours later, you'll have two and a half milligrams effective by 5 p.m. And then 1.25 by 8 p.m. And then it's pretty much undetectable at that next time. Essentially, 18 hours after your dose of prednisone, it's mostly gone from your system. For some people, it might be up to 24 hours, but essentially it's gone after one day. The drug is gone. So why do you feel so awful after taking prednisone? Even though the molecule of prednisone itself is gone after 18 hours, the effects last much longer. Let me give you an analogy to help understand what I'm about to explain about the side effects. So prednisone is like a tornado. It touches down and it goes through the town. And in the meantime, it knocks over electric poles. It takes a car and deposits it somewhere else. It takes the roof off of something. It breaks the window. It leaves a path of destruction along its wake. How long does it take for a tornado to go through town? 30 seconds, a minute, 30 minutes, an hour. Every tornado is different, right? But eventually the tornado is gone. What is left in its wake? Damage, destruction, changes that don't just undo themselves just because the tornado ended. The dire emergency for the animals and humans is over, right? Like you're not going to be sucked up into a cyclone and disappear, but the damage to the road, like you're not able to drive through it right now, right? Like those things don't just immediately recover. So let's talk about what those damage leftovers are from the prednisone tornado. Prednisone is affecting lots of parts of your body. So the first thing it's impacting is your blood sugar. The impact of one dose of prednisone on your blood sugar can be detected at least eight hours after that dose. It's anti-inflammatory, usually desired good effects, last 12 to up to 36 hours. So the good effects of prednisone are lasting potentially three times longer than the molecules even in your body. Growth suppression. So if a child takes prednisone, it's slowing down their growth and there's actually detectable height differences in children who take prednisone versus those who don't. And that lasts up to five hours. And other hormone and metabolic effects from prednisone can be detected days later. The changes to the circadian rhythm from just one dose of a drug very similar to prednisone called dexamethasone, it completely dysregulates your circadian rhythm, your ability to manage the biological clock and wake up at a normal time and go to sleep at a normal time and get restful sleep at night. That whole thing is completely dysregulated after just one dose. It doesn't suddenly just pop back into place instantly. It takes time to recover from that, to rebuild the pathways that prednisone is blocking or broke down. So what affects how long prednisone stays in your system? Because I told you there's a range. Some studies show that your liver and kidney health may have some impact on it. It's safe to take prednisone, whether you have liver impairment or kidney impairment, but potentially it might last longer in your body if you're not breaking it down or getting rid of it as fast. Your body fat, and body size might impact how long prednisone lasts in your body. Your age and your gender, whether or not you took it with food may potentially make a difference. And then your genes, the DNA, the enzymes that break prednisone down are different for every single person. And so some people clear the drug fast and have fewer side effects. Other people, 
it may stay in the system longer. And so you have more chance for more side effects, more damage to occur. So this explains why prednisone is dosed, the timing that it's normally taken. For most people, doctors prescribe prednisone to be taken first thing in the morning, and they often say with food and water, and you only take it once a day. And that's because that allows it to mimic your body's natural release of cortisol from your HPA axis. It normally starts releasing it at two o'clock in the morning, and then it gets stronger and stronger and stronger closer to dawn. And right at dawn, that's when your body starts saying, okay, time to wake up, time to get energy, time to turn on the metabolism, time to just get the systems going. And that's cortisol. Cortisol is the, the molecule that does that and prednisone is mimicking it. So it makes sense to give it at the time your body would normally be releasing it. And then the reason people often don't take it at night is because that waking up hormone is not a great idea to be taking when you're trying to be going to sleep and getting restful sleep, right? It can worsen insomnia, weight gain, and lead to worse side effects. But it's possible that your doctor could prescribe it at night or prescribe it every other day. Those are possible things that a doctor could do. And that might be because of the condition you're taking it for. Some conditions have worse symptoms in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. And so you want to have the prednisone to kick in by the time you're waking up when you normally have pain like in your shoulders for PMR or your wrists for rheumatoid arthritis. So does prednisone build up in your system? Nope. Some drugs, the more you take it, the more it builds up and you reach this kind of steady state, but prednisone isn't one of those. It is completely gone normally within 24 hours of taking it. But like I said, its effects, both the good ones and the bad ones can last for days or even weeks. So the real answer to your question is, it doesn't matter how long prednisone stays in your system. What really matters is how long it acts on your system and how long it takes your body to recover from taking prednisone. And so if you're wondering my best tips for what you can do to minimize the side effects, to help you recover quicker, I have a prednisone checklist. It goes through the top side effects and what you can do to counteract them. It includes the top seven mistakes to avoid and my 15 tips to feel like yourself again while taking prednisone. So just click the link below to download the prednisone checklist so you know exactly how to recover from taking prednisone. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. Mm -hmm.